Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today we are going to discuss about systems of dimensioning or you can say dimensioning methods. So let's see first of all the different tasks that you have to perform in the practice sheet for the engineering drawing. That means first sheet in the engineering drawing subject. Task 1 that is systems of dimensioning then task 2 that is regular pentagon by the special shortcut method then task 3 12 equal parts of line next 12 equal parts of circle next regular hexagon and at last we will see the task 6 types of lines so these are all the different tasks that we are going to see in the first practice sheet so let's see one by one first system of dimensioning basically there are two types of the dimensioning system aligned system and unidirectional system so let's see in the aligned system dimensions can be read from the bottom here you can see that is the first choice or right side of the drawing sheet so basically for the aligned system the dimension can be read from the bottom of the drawing or right side of the drawing sheet. In case of unidirectional system, dimension can be read from the bottom edge of the drawing sheet only. So this is the main difference between aligned system and unidirectional system. Now let's see briefly the aligned system. So this is the very simple figure that definitely you can use in the examination also for the aligned system. So first this is a rectangle then I have drawn the circle. This is the center line sometimes it is called as the axis line. Now see the dimensions are aligned with the entity being measured. This is very important really. Dimensions are aligned with the entity being measured. So let's say if I want to give the dimension of this entity that is actually the line. So the dimension must be aligned with this entity. Here you can see. Next they are placed perpendicular to the dimension line. So this is actually the dimension line and perpendicular to the dimension line. So here you can see exactly. So the dimension must be perpendicular to this line. If I want to give the dimension here, then once again you can see this is the dimension line. This is called as the extension line and dimension must be perpendicular to this dimension line. They may be read from the bottom. Here you can see this whole dimension can be read from the bottom side of the drawing or right side of the drawing sheet if lines are in vertical position. Dimensions are placed at the middle and on the top of the dimension line. Here you can see. So if I want to give the dimension for this vertical line, then the dimension must be perpendicular to this dimension line. Here you can see and that can be read from the right side of the drawing sheet. If I want to give here the dimension, then definitely you can understand it now. If I want to give the dimension for the circle, then you can say it is the pi that means the diameter of the circle is 30 mm. Instead of that, you can give the dimension in the form of radius also. So at that time you have to show this arrow from the center to here only and that can be R15. R means radius. Now see the important one. As per the aligned system, this is the correct dimension. If you give this type of the dimension, then it is wrong. So very important point that you should remember the dimension must be above or you can say top of the dimension line. It should not be below the dimension line. Similarly, if the dimension is vertical, then this one is the right one. You cannot write like this. Always the dimension should be read from the right side of the drawing sheet and that is above the dimension line. 
and here it is also absolutely wrong because of it is not perpendicular to the dimension line now second one unidirectional system so once again consider this figure that exactly we have discussed in case of the aligned system so that exactly you can understand the difference between aligned system and unidirectional system dimensions are placed horizontally they can be read from the bottom edge of the drawing sheet only dimensions are inserted by breaking the dimension lines at middle so here you can see the dimension is like this it is placed horizontally here you can see they can be read from the bottom edge of the drawing sheet only here you can see then dimensions are inserted by breaking the dimension line here you can see this is the dimension line and breaking of this dimension line it can be put in the middle of the dimension line approximately if i want to give the dimension over here then you can see the dimension line is break over here and you can write the dimension exactly at the middle of the dimension line similarly if i want to give the vertical dimension then it can be like this keep in mind this the dimension must be read from the bottom of the drawing only similarly if i want to give the dimension from here to here then it can be like this similarly you can understand if i want to give the dimension of the circle then it can be in the form of pi or in the form of radius r so this is the correct one as per the unidirectional system this is incorrect so this 90 cannot be seen from the right side it can be seen from the bottom portion of the drawing only so this one is the correct according to the unidirectional system here also you can see this is the right method to give the dimension but it should not be like this this is the right method according to the unidirectional system if the line is in horizontal position so at last difference between align and unidirectional system it is very important for the exam point of view so already we have discussed so once again see briefly in the align system dimensions are aligned with the entity being measured whereas in case of unidirectional system dimensions are placed horizontally here in case of align system they are placed perpendicular to the dimension line that means the dimension are placed perpendicular to the dimension line they may be read from the bottom or right side of the drawing sheet here in this case they can be read from the bottom edge of the drawing sheet only next dimension are placed at the bottom and on the top of the dimension line here the dimensions are inserted by breaking the dimension lines at the middle so this is a very important difference between two different method for the dimensioning you can follow any one method in the particular drawing but you cannot mix this both system in a single drawing so now it's turn for the simple figure for the dimensioning system in the examination so definitely you can use this simple figure here you can see the main difference this 45 and 90 that is actually read from the right side of the drawing in case of aligned system whereas in case of unidirectional system all the dimension must be read from the bottom side of the drawing only which method is the best align system or unidirectional system write your answer in the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it